Second World War. Yes, we see that. And it's terrible. Longer than the second. But with its complex network of dank, muddy trenches, this so-called line of contact, in some places just a few dozen yards from the enemy, looks more like the First World War. I mean, we've entered this warren of, of trenches that have been dug along the front line. I can tell you, I mean, it's, it's like being thrown back to the early 20th century and the, and the Great War. I've not seen anything like this in modern warfare. But this is modern. The reality of confrontation with Moscow and its proxies. Is there a chance that the Russians could be planning an invasion? Of course. Of course, we know it. Uh, beginning from 2014, we know that it can be, it can be anyway. Uh, each day, it yeah. can be. So they are ready. And... But, but we are also ready because we are on our on our land, on our territory. Alright, Shalom, this is her one by Nyasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. I want to say Ka Halayam, La Yahawa, Bahashim Yahawashai, Bahashim Harukar Kodash, Mahamath, double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, and Agwathim and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Hey man, uh, check this out. This is Revelation 19 and 11. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit of Europe. All right, bottomless pit represents Europe, whose name in, in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon. But in the Greek tongue, it has his name Apollyon. And we all know that was uh, Kaiser Wilhelm. All right, Kaiser meaning uh, king or Caesar. He was known as the last Caesar or last king of Germany. That and he was known as the Caesar that or the Kaiser that destroyed Europe. He destroyed his own damn um government. All right, call it causing something called if you want to learn about it, look up something called the Turnip Turnip Winter. All right, where he wanted to go to war and show off all his naval ships and wound up getting in his war. And, and which also ultimately um, destroyed the economy of Europe, of, of Germany. And then which brought about the uh, rise of Hitler, who was, a, who was a military soldier. And the people, um, the people voted him into power. All right. So that was World War One, which was fought from um, 1914. It was a four year war. So it lasted till about 1918. All right, so that war, that war, that war is past. All right, so now it says, verse 12, one woe is past, and behold, there come two more woes, two woes more hereafter. So saying that ain't it, you know, that was just one, and they thought that was the end of the world, but it was the end of the world as they as they knew it. It was taking them into a different um, time. All right. Because after 1914, 1918, you had the Industrial Revolution. All right. Uh, well, it was like, that was all the way back in the 1700s. But um, you had um, the 1920s. All right. You had the uh, the dollar being established as a currency. All right, you had the crash that happened, then you had the Great Depression. So America hasn't really been thriving that long, you know. So the one woe is past, and behold, there come two more woes hereafter, right? Because it's like all all three wars are going to be in one. It's the same wars. That's why the guy said, uh, the reporter said, yo, that this war, it looks like something from the early 1900s, the way they got the bunkers set up. But the, the technology they're using is from today, modernized. All right? So it's like all the wars are going to be fought in one. It's crazy, man. All right? So now um, you got Russia. They said it's only going to take four days to go in there and take um, Ukraine. All right? From Crimea. 
hey man we'll see what happens and then you got america backing ukraine so this, this could turn into a hot war revelations 11 and 14 the second war was passed see now you have the second world war and that came about uh i think it was the 1938 or really 1939 all the way to 1945 to where they entered the nuclear age and they dropped big boy and little man on hiroshima and nagasaki all right bringing it everybody into the nuclear war age preparing preparing for world war three all right and um i think it was einstein he said yo after this war people gonna fight with sticks and stones <laughs> there's gonna be like emps and nuclear radiation all kind of shit man destroying everything verse 14 the second woe is passed right this isn't the second world war they keep references to it they say yo this is like the second world war all over again no it's not it's gonna be bigger the second woe is passed and behold the third woe coming quickly that's the last one man the third one it could have been four or five if the most high wanted it to be but he set it up in three all right the third woe cometh quickly that's the last one it's moving quick all right since 1945 uh, up to 2021 where they're talking about world war three now you know all right so now um yeah, it's set up like it's set up like uh, nineteen fourteen, the war that they had back then, with the bunkers, right? But uh, the technology they're using is from today, and it's setting up for the World War Three scenario. Isaiah nine and five: For every battle of the warrior or soldiers is with confused noise. All right, a lot of yelling and blood, swinging of the sword, like on three hundred or um, was the Irish movie uh. Braveheart, all right, close contact, but now, since 1914, they was using bunkers and all that, then uh, the Second World War, they started, what, dropping bombs from planes, all right, that's what Revelation 9 is talking about, uh, they started dro dropping bombs from um, the, the shoot in front of the front of the plane, see, the Lord was building up Esau's technology. All right, so they were shooting from the front of the front from the uh, front of the plane, and then uh, you know, and then they started what dropping missiles. They call them peekaboo bombers. <laughs> so they would peek and hide in the clouds, and then they come out of nowhere and just bomb, boom. All right, and then you had the war on the uh, on the sea with Germany. Uh, um, getting bombed, their naval or their submarines, when the submarine would come out of the water because they didn't have the uh, com uh, compatibility, capability to fuel underwater. So they had to come up out of the water and send a f so what they would call a, c a cow, cast cow, send a cow, uh, uh, tanker over there to, f to fuel their submarines as they came out of the water and that's when the peekaboo bombers would show up and bomb boom that's how that's how germany lost the war all right because they had one of the biggest navy fleets <laughs> so yeah man they, they would they were building up to this scenario of nuclear holocaust isaiah 9 and 5 for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise, right? Because after 1945, they had what you call, uh, they created uh, aircraft carriers, all right? And they angled it perfect how they wanted, set it up so the plane could fly on it, made it uh, nuclear um, compatible to where it has um, uh, fueled by nuclear energy, all right? Submarines that can go for years underwater with nuclear energy instead of air air suppression um compression release for missiles they use um i mean instead of um so now they use air compression to where the missile leaves gets released to the water and then the thrusters kick in and then it shoots off 
all that stuff is important. That's technical um, innovation that they've done to get to the point there right now. 200 million missiles, way more than that in the earth. But the Lord has a set number, a set time, a set day, a certain amount of fire, a certain amount of people that's going to be destroyed. Isaiah 9 and 5, for every battle of the warriors with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. That was a point blank close encounter wars. All right. But now the wars have moved moved to a coward's, coward's war to where they, they fight in trajectories, shooting at angles. They hear a sound, they shoot in that direction. Now you hear the cow. It's like, what, what kind of war is that, man? They just launching arrows, launching missiles, launching uh, bullets. All right, so that's what times we in. It says what? But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. So the Lord had to build them up to um, to having this technology so this war could be uh, with fuel and with fire so it can match up with what the scriptures say, America, uh, Babylon being burned up and turned into a lake of fire, all right? chemicals and shit like that. Matthew 24 and 6, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nations. See, Crimea rising against Russia. They're saying they're ready to fight them on their own land. And Russia is fighting the modernized war. And you see Crimea, they're still stuck in the 1900s, early 1900s. For a nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences. That's happening right now. And earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So we, this is just the beginning. All right. Revelation 8, 13. And I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven. Right. Because the Most High gives the command to the angels and the sentence. And the angels carry it out. And the Lord has a judgment for this place. And I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, 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 that's World War Three, to the inhabitants, inhabitants of the earth, by reason of the other voices of the trumpet, of the three angels which are yet to sound. 